imagine a bandage that can detect early tissue problems resulting in bed sores long before there are any visible signs of damage. Each year, bed sores affect an estimated 2.5 million people in the U.S. That's why National Science Foundation funded engineers at the University of California, Berkeley, are developing a smart bandage, a thin, flexible film outfitted with an array of dozens of electrodes. A very small current discharged between the electrodes creates a map of the state of the bed sore underneath the bandage. By monitoring the electrical changes that occur when a healthy cell starts to die, the team is able to check damage before there are any visible signs. We set out to create a type of bandage that could detect when bed sores are forming before they're, they're fully formed. Before the bed sore is beginning to show itself, even you know, turning the area turning pink or showing that maybe something would happen, we can detect some electrical change in the tissue. The team says the system can be miniaturized to fit into a pen thermometer and sees it being carried around by nurses for spot checking target areas on a patient or being incorporated into a wound dressing to regularly monitor how it's healing. The team says the smart bandage may provide an easy early warning system before permanent damage occurs. Our brain sees familiar words as snapshots rather than individual letters. That's the finding from Georgetown University researcher Maximilian Riesenhuber. He says that neurons in a small part of the brain called the visual word form area respond differently to real words like turf rather than nonsense ones such as turt. Our brain remembers how the whole word looks using something like a visual dictionary. The National Science Foundation funded study involved asking adults participants to learn a set of 150 novel words. Using a specific functional magnetic resonance imaging technique, the team found that the visual word form area changed as the participants learned the nonsense words. After training, the neurons respond to them as if they were real words. The team says this is the first study of its kind to show how neurons change their tuning with learning words, demonstrating our brain's flexibility. The visual word form area ignores how the word sounds, just how the letters of the word look together. The team says this research could lead to ways to help people with reading disabilities. At Vanderbilt University, a team of mechanical engineers has discovered a way to use magnets to make minimally invasive surgery even easier, with fewer incisions. Using magnets outside the patient's body, the National Science Foundation funded team's technique guides small surgical devices within the abdomen. Today, simple abdominal surgery needs three to five incisions. So this would reduce the number of incisions required for abdominal surgery down to a single incision and also would provide a very uh, large workspace for the surgery to be effective. The fountain pen sized device acts as a retractor moving organs out of the way when needed during an operation. The larger external unit placed on the patient's stomach not only delivers more power to the internal robotic surgical tools, but allows better positioning within the abdomen than the current tools on a stick method permits. Researchers are taking energy to new heights. Alteros Energies is developing a balloon that can lift a wind turbine to heights of 2,000 feet. The novel buoyant airborne turbine, or BAT, hovers higher than current tower-mounted wind turbines to take advantage of more powerful winds. Its helium inflatable shell channels wind through a lightweight wind turbine, generating more than twice the energy of a tower-mounted turbine. The first model will provide enough quick, affordable electricity for a small rural community or about a dozen American homes. It can also be outfitted with internet and sensory equipment alongside the turbine to provide additional services to customers. With funding from a National Science Foundation Small Business Innovation Research Grant, the BAT can be installed in 24 hours, substantially reducing the cost of energy and time to reach customers' energy needs. Altero CEO Ben Glass hopes to deploy the BAT in the future alongside first responders in emergency situations when access to an electric grid is unavailable. The team feels this technology has the potential to avoid many of the key challenges facing traditional wind turbines. For more information about these stories, visit us at nsf.gov. This is NSF Science Now. I'm Dina Henry.